Welcome everyone to ESPN on ABC College Football presented by K Jewelers. Today from Sun Devil Stadium, essentially an elimination game with an eye toward the college football playoff. For the loser, it's the second loss of the season, likely out of the playoff conversation. The winner gets a much needed resume boosting win. Loss and elected to receive. Kyle Brinza will kick off with a strong leg. Two thirds of his kickoffs this year have been touchbacks. And we're underway. It's returnable if they choose. And Kyle Middlebrooks does choose. Flags down on the return. Three of them. And so the communicator did a great job of getting them lined up and in the right defenses. That'll be a key today. How they can deal with his absence. Richard tackled. Third down and four. No pressure on Kelly, and his pass is caught by Cody Cole, the tight end, but he's short of the first down. Good tackle. On second and five, the quick hitter complete for a first down. Fuller again. Out to the 42. Devils show blitz again. They rushed five, and the catch made by Fuller stays on his feet and makes his way to the 45-yard line of Arizona State. Again, Arizona State drives the line. Holston leaps down, goes in pass protection, and that could be an issue today against this blitz-happy ASU team. They come after it again, and Golson got it off quickly. Durham Smythe, his Notre Dame coach. He's the best play caller in the game, in my opinion. The only other coach at Notre Dame to win eight in his first four is Dan Devine. Golson off and running and effectively so. First down, this impressive Irish drive marches of games. They lost seven. He got the ball back. Third down and 17. In traffic again, hangs on to the ball, but gets taken down for a sack. So the pressure from Arizona. Now they're at the 29-yard line, and Kyle Brinza trying a 45-yard field goal, and it is good. That's rust. With a broken bone in his right foot to Kelly. Same play. They've had success with that action on both. And Sean had another shot at him. Missed him in open field. 11-yard gain. Now running off right tackle. Foster again. Cut down by a lot. Substitution packages for Notre Dame. Can't get in there. Kelly. First down, nice move after the catch by Jalen Strong. Redshirt Jr. from Foster lined up to take a direct snap. Strength of the formation to his right. He went left for very little. Well defended by Sheldon Day. One of the leaders. One of the semifinals for the Lou Groza Award is the best kicker in the country, and that one is good from 47. Two outstanding kickers, and they've both been on the money. Golson in trouble and tripped up again. He lost the ball. Tayshawn Smallwood picked it up for Arizona State. And the Sun Devils will have it at the Notre Dame 13. Well, there's so many places to start with this. First of all, four. Well, then he recovered it and ran it back to the 13-yard line. Already three sacks for ASU. Kelly throws on the run. Caught. Touchdown. Jalen Strong. Zane Gonzalez adds the I called Brian Kelly the best play caller in the business and one reason is his ability to make adjustments That pass is batted in the air and it's intercepted Marcus Hardison picked it off Quarterback controversy here in the Valley some believe they should be playing Mike Bercovici who played well when Kelly was out with that broken foot Down toward the goal line goes to Mario Richard. He got they miss it and leads to this. 
Richard to the goal line. Stop short. Now they say touchdown. Officials took a moment to try to figure out where Richard was, and when they ran into the pile, they determined it was. Span of a minute and three seconds for ASU. And the extra point is up and good by the offense on an opening drive. They've had big trouble against the pressure since. Plenty of time this time for Golson, and he has a first down. Corey Robinson swung back, but the forward progress was across the 35. Arizona State gives tickets, prominent seats right behind the bench to military members and their families. First play of the second quarter, Everett Golson takes off running. It is out of bounds in AS. Golson, another bad pass that's intercepted. Demarius Randall off to the races. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, Arizona State. Marcus Hardison deflected it. Now it's just during the visit. Golson has to get better protecting the football, but he's lost the fumble. On third and eight, they come after Golson. Takes off running, won't get anywhere near the first down markers. Out to the 18. Malami Lott, third down and three. Kelly is going to take off running, lunges for the marker. Jalen Smith chased him to the boundary. And it looks like they'll give him a favorable spot in the first down. And we talked about Coach Graham calling plays. Mike Norville, the offensive coordinator, is doing an awesome job of mixing it up, running pass. And now Kelly throws, man, behind the defense, and another touchdown for ASU, Cameron Smith. Touchdown reception, and the route is on. Folston. Golson, deep throw, and confusion on the route. Nowhere near William Fuller. We've broken off the pass route. Frisch. Seven years in the NFL. He's brought a lot of NFL-style defenses. Wobbly pass against the Blitz. Incomplete. Intended for Arizona State. Brings some pressure. It's a little screen to C.J. Procise. Nice run after the catch, and he's still going. C.J. Procise out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Great run after the catch. Third and 14. Golson really more concerned right now about the rush than looking downfield, and he's down. Lingered for a while, but finally succumbed back at the 32-yard. GPA, and now studying sports law, getting a master's in sports law. A new program here at ASU. Pressured, but it's a screen anyway, and he got it off to D.J. Foster. He got yanked out at the 45-yard line. <laughs> Kelly steps into the throw, first down. In the Notre Dame territory to the 33-yard line, Frederick Gamage, former walk-on from just down the street. Out to South Bend in January, so he was there in time to take part in spring practice. Kelly throws, caught Cameron Smith. Some call him Cameron James. No matter what you call it, they get quickly over the ball, snap it quickly, and good luck if you can figure out where the ball should be marked. That's a tough task for the officials. Down and five, corner of the end zone, and incomplete. Tended for D.J. Foster with Matthias Farley. The field for the overtime game winner, and Gonzalez said, don't worry, Coach, I have it. And he did. And he has that one as well. So he's two for two. That's a and of course, Dan was at Notre Dame in the late 70s and won national title in 77. Golson floated one, but it got there. And now it's Corey Robinson. Excuse me, it's C.J. Procise with a big gator. Down to the 16-yard line.
Golson. Out of bounds inside the 10 yard. With Quishy Brown. Fuller fourth in the nation starting today in touchdown receptions. Now has 10 for the year. And Brendan. That blitzer and holding on to the football when he does get sacked. I think they need to implement hot reads, to be quite honest with you. He gets it off quickly. It's caught by Corey Robinson, who swung down after a big gainer. Blocker helping to pick up the rush, particularly the blitz. Here they come again. Golson throws on the run. Another open receiver and a catch by Fuller. Inside the 10 yard line. Jordan Simone. Design roll for Dawson about to get blasted from behind. And he throws an interception to Quishy Brown. Yep. That'll be funded by that endowment for decades going forward. On third down. Another hold by the Notre Dame defense. Out to give him time. Pressure again and a slant connects inside the 40 of ASU to Torrey Hunter Jr. On Gino off the field, first and 10, Notre Dame. Under eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Golson stepped up into the pocket, has a man down the middle and stumbling inside the 10 and down to the five. Said more often than not, that's where we'll go in short yardage. McDaniel runs left to the goal line. Touchdown. Toward the goal line, he lunged for the end zone with the knees off the ground. The extra point good by Brenza. Lined up in the slot. And a conservative play call. D.J. Foster. On an inside run, chopped down by Sheldon Tap Got another here in the third quarter. Quick hitter to Amir Carlisle, the former running back. Takes off after the catch. Still going. Got some great downfield blocking help and made it all the way to midfield before quick to get set up. He did that there, and that's the reason he had a big run. They come after Golson all out. Well blocked. Caught. Ben Coy at the tight end. Inside the 30. They're rivaling that comeback. Final minute of the third quarter. Good catch. Again by Koyak. The transition to defense and is now an outstanding player. All out blitz. And the pass over the middle incomplete in the general direction to Ben Koyak. Today to get them within two scores. Oh, they have trouble. The holder, Hunter Smith, couldn't hang on to the ball. part of the defense as anybody's ever coached including guys in the NFL Taylor Kelly dumps it over the middle and it is a first down Cameron Smith similar play Cody Cole first down nine yard gain Mario Richard bounces off a hit has a first down before he got chopped down by Dell. Again, they come after Taylor Kelly. Dodges the rush for a moment. Throws down the field. Intercepted. Matthias Farley, the first takeaway for Notre Dame. And he's tackled in midfield. Cody Cole, the tight end, made the tackle. That's 11 games in a row with at least one interception for Notre Dame, dating back to last year. From midfield, Golson a lot of time. Lost one down the far sideline. Cam McDaniel. Wrapped up at the 20. Play clock running down. Golson runs. Nice moves. And fights for the first down. Inside the 15. Bet at the test and 10 from the 15. McDaniel trying to run through the blitz. Powering his way down inside the five to the three-yard line. Valuable time ticking away. Third and goal. McDaniel blasted.
Hampton still got into the end zone. He took a big hit from the hard hitter Longino and went forward into the end zone and Notre Dame's within two scores. How big is Mc 205 pounds? I should put it with an attitude mm -hmm. beside that 205. Brins is in the second half. Arizona State has not scored in this half. And it's Demario Richard. And it looks like he's going to be marked down short of the 35. And it'll be Everett Golson and the Irish from the 41. Blitz picked up. Deep throw. Caught at the 25-yard line by Chris Brown. Golson fake the short ball. Wide open. style of offense well they haven't been in all-out attack mode here in the second half and now they're on their heels and then some brings this extra point makes it a three-point game DJ Foster turns the corner again and he's it Taylor Kelly veteran quarterback his experience boys will be tested as a man wide open to Mario Richard down the sideline inside the 10 and knocked out of by Drew, a two-score game from the four. Kelly has Richard in the flat. Touchdown! What a drive by Arizona State when the Irish had them on the ropes. An extra point up and good by Zane Gonzalez. Golson zips one, caught Corey Robinson, son of the Basketball Hall of Famer. Not just the problem on the field goal try, but the four turnovers, and the one Golson will probably really remember is when it looked like they were going to score early in the half. They ended at the seven-yard line of Arizona State. There's another one. Off Robinson, right into the hands of Lloyd Carrington, who might deliver an exclamation point on one of the biggest wins in Arizona State history. in the country during that time. Fifth Notre Dame turnover. And as we said, he started the day with the lowest interception rate in his career of any Notre Dame quarterback. They come after him, trying to deliver the knockout punch. And they do. Dawson down back inside the 10. Giuliani Latu. Stick a fork in. Starting out his high school coaches. Well, he believed in it. He did. Fourth and goal. Kelly the keeper. And Arizona State has another touchdown. Questions if they were playing the right quarterback. They'll be favored to win the next two against Oregon State and Washington State. Zaire. Nice effort. Well, perhaps be the last play of the game. They stop the clock to move the chains. But the Irish aren't in any big hurry. As a matter of fact, they're already starting across the field to congratulate Arizona State returns its first win ever against Notre Dame. Now one in three all time against the Irish. Todd Graham was already enormously popular here in the Valley. Their first win against the top ten opponent since 2002 when they defeated Oregon. Ohio State and Michigan State from East Lansing. Now for Todd McShay, Chris Spielman, our terrific crew led by Bo Garrett, Mike Schwab, Sean McDonough, so long from Jubilant Tempe, Arizona.